This video will show you the actual procedure to replace the ground fault protection fuse in your Xantrex MPPT-150 60 amp solar charge controller. Your documentation states that this procedure should only be performed by qualified personnel. Viewing this video just prior to performing the operation will qualify you to perform this action. Ground fault protection is provided by a 1 amp fuse located behind the access panel of your charge controller. There's a spare fuse inside this compartment. If your system has two or more solar charge controllers, there's only one fuse and it's located in the charge controller with a smaller number. If your system has experienced a ground fault, the system control panel will indicate the fault on the display. But the easiest way to identify the fault is to go to the charge controller itself. The display will indicate charger off, fault active. Press the enter button to scroll through the menu. Faults and warnings menu, active faults, ground fault. You will generally know what caused this fault. If you or anyone else touched the wiring of your system, you probably caused the fault yourself. If you do not remove the fault and go through this procedure, you will simply blow another fuse. If that happens, it may be an indication of dangerously high voltage on your system. I want you to call me. The second step is to open the disconnects from the solar array and from the battery. There's one set of disconnects for each charge controller. Solar 1, Solar 2, Battery Charge Controller 1, Battery Charge Controller 2. Now we're going to wait for a minimum of four minutes for the stored energy in the charge controllers to dissipate before proceeding. After the timeout period has expired, remove the panel. I suggest the use of a voltmeter to check for the presence of voltage from the solar array, and you may see a volt or two, and also from the battery. You may see some voltage from the battery, but it will continue to drop as, as you wait. And if that's not the case, give me a call. I'm going to remove the fuse with an insulated tool. Retrieve my spare. Fuse replaced. Replace the cover. Restore power by turning back on the battery breakers and the PV breakers. Our system control panel shows that the fault is cleared and our charge controllers indicate that we're charging. 28.8 volts, 69 and a half amps, a little over 2,000 watts. Job complete.